Do you use the one minute chart or the five minute chart? Have you ever thought about using the three minute chart? My favorite time frame for looking for entries and exits is the three minute chart. Today, we're going to talk about why I think the three minute chart is the better option between the one minute or the five minute chart. Going to break it all down right here in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. What's going on guys, Patrick here. Today we're talking about time frames, smaller time frames, the one minute chart, the three minute chart, the five minute chart. Why do I think the three minute chart really has the best price action for me personally with my strategy? You know, my strategy is based on trading momentum, breakouts, breakdowns, things like that. I like to trade with the momentum of the market. So I need a time frame that's going to give me good entries and good exits. The problem with the one minute time frame is, you know, I've been trading since 2017. When I first started trading, I saw all the YouTube videos. A lot of the YouTubers were trading on one minute time frames or either the five minute time frame. It's kind of funny because people are like, you know, you don't want to trade on the one minute because it's too fast and you, you don't, you know, you want to trade on the five minute because it's a little bit slower. And then people are also saying you don't want to trade on the five minute. There are so many different opinions when it comes to what time frame is best. So it really comes down to figuring out what is best for your strategy. Pulling up the three minute chart right here. Let's just look at kind of where I would have entered, well, where I did enter a trade out today. So basically, my strategy is simple. I'm looking for these breakouts of these kind of downward trend or upward trends, but you know, depending on the overall setup, if it's a short, if it's a long, I'm looking to enter once we break out, kind of pushing above the high of the previous candle. So we saw the MACD's bullish. That's also part of my strategy as well. We had the high right here on this candle. I think the high was the 58s. So on this push up above the 59s, you get long right here. And we get that push all the way up there to the 80s after that. So you can see here on the three minute chart, we kind of sold off. We had some wicks on the bottom of these two candles right there, a little wick there. We pushed up almost like a little doji right there off of that 54 level. We knew that 54 level was kind of support. We actually kind of broke through there and then kind of pushed back. That doesn't really matter. But you can see kind of we had a green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle, green candle. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I've got a thousand videos right here on the channel. I've been day trading since 2017 and I've been documenting the process right here on YouTube, sharing my journey through the day trading world, what I've learned, what you can avoid learning. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button as well if you enjoy these videos. If we switch over to the five minute chart here, we can see a couple things. We got this little push up. We broke above that. We broke above that 58 level right there. We push up and we had a nice little move up. So the five minute chart wasn't terrible by any means. I don't think like this setup really kind of makes a five minute chart look too slow. But in general, you know, normally I'm looking for those kind of faster moves. So the five minute chart kind of looking pretty good. That little doji there on the five minute chart looks a little bit different than on the three minute chart, but still we can clearly see that there's little support there. The problem with this five minute chart, I would say like right away is we only really had two candles. You had this candle here, this candle, and then we got that break to the upside. Where on the three minute chart, we had those two red candles and then we had this green candle kind of signifying that there was a possible reversal. At least we had a green candle. I like to see those green candles when we push back up above those highs. So again, you know, the high being that 58, we got the same kind of breakout comparing the five minute chart to the three minute chart. But I do like that there's three candles there and we had that green candle. Looking at the one minute chart, let's get rid of this line. We know that, okay, that was kind of our breakout that we'd be entering for this move up. But look at this, look at this little move right here. All right, so we had this little push right here. We got above the high kind of of these two candles right there and we kind of sold back down. Can you guys see that? We almost had that little break up. So the problem is if I would have gotten long off the break over this high right there, let's see how it got long right there at 57. I probably would have gotten stopped out because look, we got one, two, three, four, five, six candles before we really got that break to the upside through that move. You can see here on the one minute chart, the setup is not as clean. You know, we had that big move down kind of like down, but then just kind of getting stuck there. I guess there was a little bit of a kind of flag there. But in general, if I'm thinking about where I entered, if I'm entering for the high break above this candle right here, that previous candle, well, I would have gotten stopped out, kind of a fake out right there at that level. I think you guys can see that would have been a fake out right there, right? So that whole candle would have faked me out and I would have gotten stopped out for a loss. And then I'd had to re-enter once we break it here. Comparing the different time frames, the one minute chart is gonna be a little bit more choppy and not as clean. Where on the three minute chart, you're still, 
getting that faster time action comparing to the five minute chart but with the three minute chart it's going to be right between that one minute and five minute chart and it's going to be i think the three minute charts slow enough but also fast enough to be right there perfectly in the middle. If we look here at the three minute chart, we would have gotten that break below the low of this candle right here. And then our stop really would have been the high of these candles. So, you know, we would have been entering here with our stop right there, the high of that candle. Whereas on the one minute chart, it was a lot more choppy and you had a lot more kind of indecision at that break to the downside. You can see the market did move to the 62. So not the best move ever. I think it moved a little bit lower 60s, but you can see the difference between the one minute chart there and the three minute chart. The three minute chart, just a cleaner overall setup. And you know, we still got the same price action, but we're getting more confirmation like, okay, this is my stop up here at the high of this candle. You know, we opened here, we dipped down, we closed, and we are right there at that level. Where if we're looking here at the one minute chart, you know, entering here, it would seem like, okay, we'd have our stop. We'd probably get stopped out, you know, in this level here, not thinking that we're gonna get a stop here. So it really comes down to your strategy, but I do think that the one minute chart is gonna be a little bit choppier compared to the three minute chart. And then comparing the five minute chart, we would have entered here, you know, that break below that low there. Would I have in, would I have exited the same, would I have exited the same way on the five minute chart? Probably similar to the three minute chart here, but I definitely like having a little bit more information. You got more candles there on the three minute chart, you know, one more candle basically inside of this level. So comparing the one minute chart, the three minute chart and the five minute chart, I think the one minute chart is gonna be a little bit more disorganized, a little bit crazier, a little fast, kind of all over the place, getting more fake outs. The three minute chart is gonna be like right there between the five minute chart. The five minute chart is gonna be probably like the cleanest in terms of like, if you get a breakout, breakdown kind of holding. But again, like I really want that speed from the one minute chart, but I wanna combine it with the five minute chart. So combining the one minute chart, the five minute chart, we'd get pretty close there at the three minute chart. I could probably do like a two and a half minutes, but at that point, you might as well just trade the three minute chart. So we got the three minute chart, I like it. It's just working for my strategy. At the end of the day, you gotta figure out what strategy works best for you, but this is basically me explaining why I use the three minute chart and why I think there's value to use the three minute chart over using the one minute chart, especially like I don't think there's really any reason to trade on the one minute chart. Uh, I just don't think so. Like if you're trading on the one minute chart, you know, maybe look at a bigger picture. You're gonna get a lot of fake outs. You're gonna get a lot of kind of just up and down wiki wicks and choppy chop where on the three minute chart, it's gonna be a little bit cleaner. You have a little bit more information than the five minute chart, but still kind of having that overall kind of clean moves, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more, less hard to say, like less fakey, fake outs, less fake outs, less chop. So there it is, the three minute chart. That's the one that I'm using every day to kind of figure out where I wanna be entering and exiting. And that's what I'm doing here. If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, the like button, all the buttons down below. I will talk to you guys later on.